Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we look at machine learning with Python inside the Visual Studio 2019. We will look at creating our first projects and running it for the first time. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So as you can see, I've got a Visual Studio opened, this 2019 version opened. But before we get started, what is machine learning? Machine learning is making the computer learn from studying data and statistics. Machine learning is a step into the direction of artificial intelligence. So, machine learning can also be a program that analyzes data and learns to predict the outcome. So, rather than just talking too much, let's get to it. To get started, obviously, you have to open the Visual Studio, the latest version from this video. I'm actually using the latest version of the 2019 or the latest update of the 2019. So let's get to it then. In this, pro in this video, we actually create a classifier project using the cookie cutter. So let's go to create a new project. So as you can see here, I've already pre-selected the language so you can scroll down and select the, the Python language. So if you don't have the Python um, development installed with the Visual Studio, this is how you can do it. So you can have a look by actually clicking on um, the Visual Studio installer, opening the Visual Studio installer, clicking on the modify, and making sure you've actually checked downloaded and install the python development so this is for actually editing debugging interactive development and source control for python so you make sure you got this bit enabled downloaded and installed so if that is the case then you'll be able to see this all of this bit here so we, we scroll down and we look for the classifier project with a cookie cutter so this project requires the panda numpy scikit dash learn matplotlib packages so to get started with it we click on this bit and then we click on the next so now we're just gonna click on the create So we wait for the whole thing to load up. So as you can see here now, this we're gonna have to get the product, I uh, mean the project from Git. So this is how we do it. So we click on the nest. So here, the project is being set up. So we're just gonna wait for the whole thing to load. So here, as you can see here now, so we're gonna click on the create and open product project. So as you can see here now, we've got a project somewhat created now. So I'm just gonna check if the whole thing is loaded, completed. So here, as you can see, it's completed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this package bit here and here we're gonna open the environment bit just gonna wait a bit so the next bit of course we're just gonna go here and we click on the add environments so here we can select the environment that we want to use yeah then we can select the, the base interpreter as well here you can change the virtual environment location as well. 
but that's not exactly what we're actually looking for. So now we can we can create the environment. So here we select the environment. As you can see here, we've got ENV. So now we're just gonna try to run it to see what actually happens. So as you can see, uh, no module named pandas. So it's telling us that obviously we've got some modules that we got to download. So here we can search the module by clicking here. We can type in that what here we look, we're looking for this panda. We just wait. So now we can click on install pandas. So now we can get that bit inst installed. So we've got the pandas installed. Then the next bit we're going to install matlib matplotlib. So we're just going to wait for that, for that. So here we can install it straight away as well. You're just gonna wait for that bit to install. So we've got it is that bit installed as well. So the next bit is we've gonna install this package as well. Scikit dash learn. Dash learn. So that's the that's the one we we have to install as well. So we've got that bit as also installed. So we're just gonna try and run it again to see what actually happens. So you see, right now it's prompting us that we have the, um, the project classifier. The, this is the project has a conda environment dot y, but you, but no conda environment. So we have to create the the environment again. So we have env3. Yeah, or we could just call it. my youtube yeah then we gotta select the second bit here one or more anaconda package names yeah so we're gonna select this bit here so we're we gonna create that environment So we've got that environment created. So in this case, we have to select it. So we've got the Conda environment created. Yeah. So we can, we we have to do the same to what we've just done. So we install the pandas and the rest of the packages. So I'm just going to pause it and do the same thing as I don't want you to go through the same again. So just hold up, hold on. So after you've done the with the installation of the packages, then we can click on the start again to see what actually happens. So once you click on the run, you you get this error. So get get address info failed. Yeah. So if that's the case, yeah, this is what you gotta do. Uh, this is what you got to do change um just gonna stop this bit here so we come to the solution so we're just gonna use this come inside this classifier so So if you scroll down, 
we're gonna change this this um this link here we're gonna use this link so you can you can type it in you can have a look at it and type it in then we're just gonna run it again to see so we have this environment okay So as you can see here, so we've got processing sample, evaluating classifiers. So as you can see, we've got we've got it running now. So we're just gonna wait. Then we've actually got this window created as well, so you can analyze this this um, the data visually as well. So as you can see, we've been able to run it. But I will leave it here so that you can actually work on and explore the code further yourself. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. I hope this actually helps you to the next level. Bye-bye.